I'm always still there. Me and my brother Shay have come down fossil hunting today. He's already shot off right up there somewhere. I'm just gonna work my way along now, having a look for some fossils and we'll meet up with him. And hopefully he's got a few little finds himself. I think he said he might have taken a bit of video footage himself of what he's been finding. So if he has, I'll show that later as well. On my way across, I found a couple of slabs stuck in the clay. I pulled a couple of little pieces out and the one had a crushed big ammonite on the top. Give that a little wash. clearly there I think at least in person you can the entire fossil has a very very thin layer of slate got a shale across it so it's hard to fully tell what it is but it's quite nice He is quite a big bellum knight, one of the squid-like creatures we mentioned before. Nice big size. There's a little fragma cone coming out the back. This is the tough bellum knight guard. In life, this would have been pretty solid and this would have been apparently pretty hollow and used for gas exchange and used for regulating the gas for buoyancy so the creature can float up and down. Massive. The biggest one I've seen here complete is about a foot long, just over a foot. But they did get a lot bigger than that in other countries and also other specimens that I've not personally found here. Just found this tiny little fossil fish jar. Never found one this small before. But if we zoom in, you see the little jaw and all of the tiny teeth. So that is a really unusual find. <laughs> nice. Not sure what species this will be from. Unfortunately, it's not a complete skull, but I'm very happy with that. A big interesting ammonite in it. A sizable fossil. It looks like it might just be a partial um, Hildosaurus, but definitely break this open. A few little partial ammonites here and there usually leave these for someone else to come and pick up.
not sure what's inside that. That's strange. I'll have to keep that and have a closer look. Yeah. This one's already broken, that one. Another nice compressed ammonite down here from the rock pool that I've just walked across. down there. Have you found much? That's not too bad. Pieces. Yeah, that's not too bad at all, is it? The nodule that we found further over at the beach, this one with the little ammonite sections showing at the side, it was hard to film it opening it up myself. However, I've just opened it up with the hammer and it's gone very well. It's got a fossil inside much better than I expected. This is what we have inside. So I started off giving it a little tap at the top, a little bit at the side, then I give it one bigger hit at the top, and it opened up to reveal a lovely, lovely Philodosphorus ammonite. I really wasn't expecting it to be anything near that good. I've had a little look around on this part of the beach myself and I found not much at all really. Shay's taken some of his own footage from over there. and an imprint of a Hildoceros. Someone must have left the imprint of a, an ammonite for someone else to find. So we'll leave, we'll leave that there. Someone will enjoy finding that. See a squashed ammonite in the shale there. Just found a jewel there. And it's actually got small lobster legs preserved inside. You can see them just running through the center of the nodule there. I'm just gonna try and split some of these ammonites now. You can see that one on the edge just there. So we'll leave that one. See it on the edge there. Nothing inside that.
these are the ammonites I've just split open. Not too bad. And now we're just gonna walk over to there and see what my brother's found. Can you guess what it is? It's actually the imprint from an ichthyosaur vertebra. So the actual vertebra would have been sat here and this is the imprint that was protecting it. So presumably this is falling out of the cliff, split open, the vertebra is somewhere on the beach and there'll be a couple of these negatives somewhere. But we've just got this bit, but that's still pretty, pretty nice. But now we're going to head back up the hill and when we get home, Shay's gonna show a bit of his ichthyosaur rostrum he found a few years ago. So that's gonna be a nice way to end off this video. Oh, it's got a perfect daminite inside. Let's try and open it up. Oh, very nice. back home now and here's the piece of ichthyosaur rostrum that Shea found. Initially all of the rock was covering these teeth but you could see a couple of worn ones but it's been prepared and you can see teeth here and also some worn ones down the side. The way that Shea found it he was, look was that he was looking for driftwood and he saw this and it looked like a piece of driftwood stuck between some rocks. So he pulled it out and unbelievably, it was a big, well, a really nice chunk of ichthyosaur rostrum. At the time we hadn't really found much rostrum at all really. So this was like a major find for us and it still is. It's still a really lovely piece and we're very pleased with it. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next episode. Right, it's cracked all the way. Perfect, very pleased with that.